Happy for the seniors. Really happy for the university. I'm just happy all around. You know, um, the fans, the administration, the valley. What a beautiful night, man. We finish. We'll be seated number two in the in the WAC tournament. From where we started, handling the adversity. So proud of these guys. Words can't even explain. Leslie and Jordan were in here earlier and said this was the loudest they've ever heard this building. Do you agree with that? Yes. The last game is always the loudest. I love it. I love it, man. And we, 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 we the fans was awesome. You know, super, super, super. And I just told them out there, we got to make it to where when people come to us, they like, wow, they got the best home court advantage in the WAC. We got to make it like that. You know, we got, what we see, 25, 2800? We got to get 25, 2800 every game. They ain't got nothing to do on Thursdays and Fridays and Saturdays. Come watch some good basketball, right? Enjoy it, man. Absolutely. You touched on it a second ago, but your seniors had a great night tonight. I think Leslie and Jordan combined for 48. What did you see from them? Before? Well, they start off a little slow. You know, they was pressing, and I took Les out early, told him, relax, relax, just let it happen. And I get it, though. I've been there. So I just try to get them relaxed and, and, and just get in a flow and just let it happen. And then once they did that, they was marvelous, you know, to say the least, and, you know, made big baskets, took turns, you know, making play after play. But guess what? they supposed to do that. That's what good seniors, good players do, make plays. Players make plays. That's my, you know, that's our philosophy. Go make a play for your team, whether it's scoring, rebounding, assists, whatever it is. And then that crazy series at the end of regulation between Javon's deep three from the top of the arc and then on the other end, Sean blocking that dunk to save the game. Uh, what did you see from those two? It, it really became like a half-court game. It was... I told them to, we're going to win or lose with you defensively. And at the end, we won with them. They both made big plays, big blocks, big steals, big deflections, you know, and they they, they good. They good at that two-man game, and he's a really good point guard, you know. Um, take nothing away from him, but our guys just, it was our night, you know. It was just our night. The, the, the stars was right, the moon is right, and we got the bounce, you know, so excited. Uh, I mean, you said it right there, but it looks like defensively that's what turned the tide for you guys in the second half and uh, the beginning of overtime. Uh, how big was that defensive effort tonight, especially down the stretch? Oh, it was, it was huge down the stretch. You know, they one of the best offensive teams in the, in the conference, and down the stretch I thought we did a really good job on them. And, you know, we, we call lockdown, I think we got a lockdown like the last Last two minutes, I said, we get a lockdown, we win the game, which means three stops. So we got three in a row on them. And then, uh, you know, obviously with postseason play right around the corner, how big is it for you all just from a momentum standpoint to come out on top in a tight game like this? Oh, I think it's huge, you know. You got to win some close games. We lost a lot of close games early in the year, but now the tide has turned, you know, we, we win in some close ones. We we're, we're won the last eight out of ten games going into a WAC tournament. That's what you want. You got momentum on your side, but now it's 0-0. Zero, zero. We start over, and we got a tough, I think we played Bakersfield. Got a tough Bakersfield who just kicked our behinds, what, a week ago maybe? But a week ago, week and a half ago, they just spanked us like they owned us, so we got to we gotta go back and watch that film, watch all the other games, and get ready to have a dog fight. Coach, from the day you started recruiting Leslie Varner all the way through today, how much has he meant to you uh, taking him under your guidance through today on senior night? Well, you just see him improve every year. He's gotten better every year. From his, if you look at the stats, they gotten better every year. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, and 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 we've been trying to get him to put it all together. And part of the last ten games, he's been. Oh my God, has anybody been better in the conference? I don't think so. I think he's been as good as anybody in the conference. It's, if not the best player in the conference, you know, down the stretch. And the same thing with uh, Jordan Jackson, you know, although you didn't get him like in the freshman classification, you got him as a transfer. What has he meant to the program up through to today 
He's, he's been with me for three years. He's been with me. Les been with me for four years. He's been with me for three years because he redshirted a year. So, you know, he's gotten better. You know, last year those guys was role players. And this year, I think when we started and without Javon, they didn't know how to be stars yet. They didn't know how to be the man yet because they had never been the man. So you got to grow into it. So as the year went on, you know, and they learn how to grow into that, we've gotten better as a team. We're good? Thank you.